Hi, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to set up your matrix products in order to perform on e-commerce. Many times when people are getting started in e-com, they may have a lot of single products within retail that would need to be converted into a matrix. In this video, we're going to go over the steps and go through an example to show you exactly how that would work. Now, if I go into my inventory over here, and if I was to look through my Lightspeed products, I would be able to see that I have a lot of unique individual products for my t-shirts. Now, ideally, these would need to become a matrix in order to convert to a proper online product. Although we have nine different variations of products within here, if I was to add this into a matrix, it would count as one single product in my online shop. Now, how would we go about doing that? First, we would want to go into our inventory and then go to the matrix section. All we would need to do here is build a new matrix on the top right hand side and then give it a name and save changes. Once done, we do save and then you'll notice that there's an option to add existing items to the matrix. Don't worry at this time about filling in price, cost, or any other details. This will autofill with the information you add from your items. So in this case, I'll just search for my keyword over here. And from this point, I'll select all my variations that should go into this matrix product. You can do so individually or by selecting them all on the bottom left hand side and then clicking add selected. From this point, these products will be added into your matrix. Now they'll appear as a matrix product, but in order to have a proper drop down menu, you would need to assign it a color and size. So in this case, I'll add in my colors, and then I'll add in my sizes as well. Save the changes once again, and then this will update your matrix products. All that's left is to assign the proper variations to the individual products. So in this case, for my red small, I would choose red and then small, and then essentially make my way down this list, assigning each one to the individual area. Once we have finished all of these, you'll want to save changes once again, and this will update your products. So now if we look through, we can see that we no longer have the ability to edit these. We can also click on the individual product and see that we can't change the description anymore and that it's part of a matrix. This is the sign that you've done everything correctly and the matrix has been set up. One more thing that's very important when it comes to your matrix products is that you would want to add your images to the matrix as well. To do so, click on add image and then you'll just add one copy of each image within the section. This will ensure that all your images will be available on your website and be applicable on all of your individual sizes or variations. Now that this is done, let's go ahead and have a look on our website and see how this looks within e-commerce. If I was to refresh over here and search specifically for Lightspeed, I would be able to see that we have one product called Lightspeed T-shirt instead of having the nine that were there previously. Within this section, I'll also be able to see that this one product has multiple images. And when I go down to the inventory and variants, then I can see that this one product has all nine of my variations within it. Now, in terms of how this looks on the website, previously, you would have had your products listed like this, where each individual product will show on its own. Whereas if I search one more time for Lightspeed, now I would be able to see my single product within here. In this product, when selected, I can see the drop down menu where I can choose my different colors and I can choose my different sizes. So that is all you would need to do in order to convert your single products into a matrix. This will allow you to keep your inventory and all of its history within the retail system, but have it look proper when it comes to your online transactions. If ever you need any help and want to go through any examples, don't hesitate to refer to our documentation or our support teams to go through a few examples with you. So that is it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.